Um, once again, you know, the format is first five cards is um, deals with your love life and the other five cards deals more with the general energy. Um, so let's just get into this portion of your reading here. What I feel happening here is um, there is a situation here where there were a lot of arguments, a lot of uh, going back and forth, reassessment, as well as communication that was very, very problematic between you and a relationship partner, okay? And I feel almost like if the communication has been uh, about, you know, let's separate, let's, uh, let's reassess this relationship. Is it still serving our needs? And is it still something healthy or, you know, good for us to be in with this Three of Swords? I feel almost like you felt very attacked. You felt like um, you couldn't help it, but take whatever they say to heart and take it whatever they say very, very, very personally. I feel like there might have been a recent change uh, of um, like a course of action or a recent uh, news or recent events coming up that allows you to look at this situation from a different perspective, wherein you're able to come back together with your partner to reach some type of a compromise or to reach some type of a consensus and to kind of um, understand more about where they're going, why they're communicating the way that they are, and whether or not the two of you can... Um, kind of like hash things out and kind of continue to work together because I feel like at the heart of the matter with the sword uh, the three of swords in the reverse it's almost like you took it very very personally and you didn't understand where they were coming from but there is definitely a paradigm shift a change in perspective and a change in the way that you both communicate with each other this heavily deals with messages and communication back and forth, but the energy is very, very young and the energy is very, very defensive. And because of that, I'm inclined to say one person felt defensive and the other person was just stating their truth, but they might have stated it in a manner that wasn't very... Uh, in a manner that was not very, you know, like they, they, they might have difficulty sugarcoating. They might be so brutally honest that in the heat of the moment or the way that they rationalize and the way that they analyze the relationship, they said whatever it was that concerned them and there was a no holds bar approach to communication. And it left you feeling almost as if, uh, it was your fault. It left you feeling almost as if, you know, that, that they could not understand you, that they're having trouble continuing in the relationship. However, this is the week where I feel like there is definitely a coming back together, paradigm shift, the end of a separation, communication, where you're letting your guard down, you're no longer defensive, and the other person is no longer, you know, they, they don't have their sword out slashing you, or they don't even, uh, it's not, like, they, they might have come into a, a sense of, understanding or insight that is not really your fault that you're trying your best and in this situation that they should be a lot more supportive we have next the ten of pentacles and this deals with things uh, that are built up over time and a lot of you capricornian people you tend to stay in relationships for quite some time there seems to be you know joint finances a linked bank account property, children, family, family connections, you know their family, they know your family, and joint uh, things that you have together, car, mortgages, daycare, uh, health insurance, you know, bank account. And I know these things are, you know, they're, they're not very like sexy to talk about when it comes to love and relationship. But you also have somebody that is there for you through thick and thin. When you're sick, they take care of you. When they're sick, you take care of them. And because of that, there's a sense of stability, dependability, as well as, um, um, being able to rely on each other through thick and thin. And that's pretty much at the heart of the, the, the matter here re, uh, regarding your love life, that you have somebody that is always there for you. You know that they are in alignment with what you want out of life. You guys have the same morals, the same values, and you want to go places with each other. 
And so whatever snags in the road, whatever bumps that you've had to overcome, I feel like you have overcome it with this relationship partner, but there's still a sense that I might need to shape up, I might need to do things differently, or the other person, if they have been, you know, very critical and harsh, they're also thinking, I have to shape up, I have to, you know, soften up, and I have to understand where the Capricorn person is coming from. And so coming in for this week, there is a rejuvenation in the relationship headed in the uh, right direction to people trying to, you know, make a new start with each other. So I feel like there has been some type of a truce that happened recently that allow the two of you to overcome your communication differences or to really hash things out and talk about something that was very concerning between the two of you so that you can have forward momentum moving on with this relationship, okay? Um, I feel like there are um, very, very strong, you know, uh, bonds of attachment, a really strong nurturing, caring energy. And I also feel like the two of you, communication seems to be the only problem that's hindering your progress. Communication is also our mental process. You might th see a situation from a different perspective and they see it a different way. And for whatever reason, you're giving them this insight and they're not really having it. Or they are giving you some insight and you're looking at it from a different perspective. Hence, you solve your problem or you approach the, the, the situation in a different manner. And then as a result of it, there wasn't a lot of seeing eye to eye. This is going to start to clear up for you because at the um, foundation here with the Ten of Pentacles, it's something that is real. It's something that is tangible. It's something that you're building on with and moving on from. Um, the Ten of Pentacles can also deal with the expansion of the family unit, more children coming into the picture, children are growing up, hence we need to find a new property. So for those in committed relationships, I feel, or even for those of you, uh, well, committed relationships or even, you know, dating, there is an element here about wanting your own space, wanting to be an adult, wanting to... Uh, show the world that you are self-sufficient, that you can take care of yourself, and hence finding your own space, finding your own haven. So I feel like there's a lot of um, uh, taking things to the next level, but also talking about things, talking about can we, you know, move out of the parents' house and can we live together? Or can we, you know, find a place where the two of us can energetically be at peace and not have a lot of family obligations, family interference, and things like that, If for those of you who are attached. For those who are single, we have here a new spark of passion that's coming into the picture. The Ace of Wands, I usually think of it as, you know, like a fire energy, uh, sports, someone who's athletic, somebody who's very outdoorsy, somebody who's um, really clear. They're going to let you know their intentions and they're very, very clear about what they want and what they expect from you. So this is like um, a no games type of an approach when it comes to new relationship partner. You might have somebody here uh, that exhibits these traits and they are constantly there's pro progression and forward moving momentum with their energy where they're always doing things they might be as well very popular they're always doing things talking to many people and um there's a lot of chemistry there's a lot of passion here in this with this new person okay um moving on to the other portion of your reading and you know the card that does concern me here i have four of swords as well as ten of swords the Four of Swords is a resting phase, okay? This is like recuperating, um, healing from a situation that was possibly, potentially very, very, very painful. I'm getting a lot of people that might be, um, that might have had some bodily aches and pain surgery, major, major surgeries. Um, I'm also seeing like overall body aches. So if you have been doing a lot of physical activity, uh, sports exertion, and I feel also heat, uh, heat stroke. Um, I feel almost like you're, you might not feel it physically because you guys are built in a very solid and sturdy way. You take care of business and you do whatever needs to be done. This is a week for you to kind of consolidate and pull back and really start taking care of yourself and stop 
feeding your energy to other people and stop giving so much of your energy away to other people. I feel a state where you are very stressed out. I also see a state where you are physically very overtaxed and you need some type of a rest and restoration so that you can feel like yourself again. If you are working many, many, you know, hours overtime or even um, you're on call and you're called in to do things like on your weekend where you need to really, you know, um, devote to R&R, &R, rest and restoration, you really need to give yourself that courtesy because I feel like your body physically is feeling it. Some of you are at a point where there's just a lot of responsibilities, a lot of obligation, um, you know, like relatives, cousins, um, nephews, nieces, and, and, and people that are constantly around and, you know, you, you want to lend a helping hand, but at the same time, you're not physically taking care of your emotional health and your physical health. Okay. Um, first of all, the, the job that you're at with the queen of pentacles is a very good job. I feel like it pays well. Okay. And last week, I believe, I mentioned that you are meant for more. So I do feel an energy here about job security, staying in a place, racking up overtime, being able to make the money that you want and feeling as if you're meant to be there. And, and then every time you try to leave, you are very, very fearful of the alternative. You're trying to get here. You're trying to get a new start for yourself with this fool card. And you're fearful. What if nothing else comes into the picture for me. So it's more like this, contemplating, I have this job, I'm not really happy with it, I want to go, but if I go, what if I end up here? But there is one thing separating you from it, and a lot of it deals with mental energy. Wanting to leave, but not really finding a practical solution. So it's almost like wanting to leave a job but thinking what's next without doing the research you know without um doing the preparation to see what else is out there to see what your alternative solutions are and to see what your options are as well because you're so fearful um so there's a lot of r and r that needs to be had from your end taking some time off taking a few you know mental health days if you're not feeling well so that you can you know Take that time to really do the search and figure out, figuring out what's out there, because I feel like you want to leave, but you're talking yourself out of it. And in the process of thinking about the process of leaving, you're also working yourself up into a frenzy and you're imagining uh, failures and Capricorns. You don't handle failures very well. For you, it's like all or nothing. I aim to win. Like failure is not an exception. Uh, it's not a an it's not uh, an option for you. And so while you're ruminating over this, you're not doing the preparation. You're not doing the strategizing. You're not doing the research to see what else is out there for you. Okay. So a little bit of an uncomfortable month. Please take care of yourself. Take the time necessary for you to kind of replenish yourself mentally and emotionally and physically as well. The relationship situation is going to start to sort itself out. You will have a lot of support coming in from your relationship partner. I see somebody cooking for somebody in bed and like uh, feeding them soup. So you might be doing this with children. They might be doing it for you. Your partner might be doing that for you. You might be doing that for your partner. But, you know, we are heading into um, Virgo season. And so... Uh, the energy is a lot more about let's take care of each other. Let's nurture each other in a practical way. Food, um, stability, and, you know, promises that are made during this uh, season, I feel like it's a lot better than during the Mercury retrograde season, you know, uh, last month. So I feel like there is a clearing of the air and the energy feels really good, but you just need to start taking care of yourself. All right. Um, I worry about you guys sometimes, but I know that, you know, you're also very stubborn. You do push yourself past your limits, but, you know, it's not the smart thing to do because you need to think about the long-term ramifications of that. And you also need to strategize things long-term. If, in particular, you are thinking about career change or thinking about leaving your work workplace, um, you have to kind of start branching out and doing that research, okay? Doing the research so that you know concretely what's available so that you're not like 
talking yourself. It's like one foot out the door and then talking yourself, um, talking yourself out of it because of fear and then going back to it. All right. So take care of yourself, Capricorns. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.